Play to Potential podcast. And I don't know what the opposite of modesty is, but I think one opposite of modesty, one thing that is the opposite of modesty, I think most people would agree on is narcissism. And the research on narcissism is quite clear. Uh, the higher you are in narcissism, the more likely you are to get hired, promoted, and earn more money. And have, and, and, and at least by those measures, enjoy more career success. So, um, and, and, and Jim Collins, who wrote about level five leaders, who are, of course, modest with a fierce determination. Jim, when I, Jim and I talked, and he, by the way, endorsed uh, the, the last power book. Uh, you know, I talked to him about that. He said, well, you know, it's interesting. Um, most of the modest leaders I saw were modest once they were already CEOs. Hmm. I'm not so sure they were the level five leaders on their way to the top. And I think that's probably right. And many of the people, by the way, who claim to be modest and claim to be all these other things, authentic or whatever, if you actually did some due diligence, you would find, you know, it's one of the things I talk about in the book in chapter seven. One of the things that happens when you have lots of power and lots of resources at your disposal is you can tell your story. The current thing in the U.S. is the story told in the New York Times about this guy named Dan Price, who was this, you know, wonderful person with a zillion followers. And it turns out most of the stuff, you know, he was also a sexual predator, apparently, according to the story in the New York Times. And, you know, so here is this guy presenting himself one thing while he's while he's uh, while he's something else, you know, mm -hmm. and, and I think that's true for many leaders. They're not, you know, I mean, leaders are able Safi Bacall, who wrote the book Loonshots, has a thing um, that uh, it's, uh, the, who says that the aphorism that leaders write history is, is, is actually only partially true. Leaders not only write history, they rewrite history. <laughs>